What's up guys, this is Miasin. So a few days ago, Konami just gave us the best U-Bell support you could imagine. It's so insanely good, we can finally make it work maybe competitively, and it synergizes really well with another deck that actually was tier 1 not too long ago. So today I'll show you guys some uh, really nice combos with this deck featuring the new support, as well as the deck profile. But before we go any further, I would really appreciate you if you could smash the like and subscribe button. It takes like 5 seconds out of your time, and it makes me the happiest human on earth. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, so first things first, we've got a lot of one card combos now that are much better than before because the deck just uh, lacked a little bit of oomph, but now we, we actually got it. So Samsara Regenerating Lotus is one of the best cards that you can draw in this deck and it does a lot. So it's basically a Lone Fire Blossom for a monster that, uh, well, for a Ubel monster. So we can tribute it and then special summon the Spirit of Ubel from the deck. And on summon, you can search a spell or a trap card that specifically mentions Ubel. Not like a Ubel monster, that's not gonna work. But yeah, we can get Nightmare Pain, and you can actually set it instead of having to search it from the deck to the hand. That plays a little bit around the Jordan Logbird, because now we're delaying our first search by one action. So yeah, we're setting it, and then we're using the effect of search, and then we're going to be getting this new card right here, Infernal Grave Squirmer. And we're going to be triggering the effect of Spirit of Ubel in order to special summon the normal Ubel from deck. And since we control a Fiend Monster, we can Special Summon the Infernal Grave Squirmer from our hand. This is one of the two new cards. And in the, in the Graveyard, it also has a Monster Reborn effect for any Fiend Monster with 0 attack and 0 defense from the hand or Grave. And it's it doesn't negate the effect of the monster. So you could even play this card generically. It's actually a really good card. Nothing forces you to necessarily play this card just in Ubel. It's honestly a great card. But yeah, now we can uh, destroy our own Ubel Monster with the Infer uh, Infernal Grave Squirmer. And that's going to evolve it into Terror Incarnate. And we can link them off into the Unchained Soul King of Yama. Don't worry, we're still going to be playing a Ubel deck. This is not an Unchained deck. This is really just an Unchained engine in a Ubel deck. Special summon the uh, normal, uh, the Spirit of Ubel using the uh, Graveyard Effect of Grave Skirmer. And then Unchained Soul of Sharvara. This is where it becomes absolutely gorgeous. Destroying your own Ubel monsters is actually beneficial. Because we get to trigger our Unchained monsters in every single time... Our Ubels evolve into the next Ubel that we want. But yeah, now we link off the Sharvara as well as the Yama into the Unchained Soul of Rage. And then Sharvara gets us the Escape of the Unchained, so that's already a very nice setup. But we're far from being done because on the end phase, the Samsara will be reviving itself back from the graveyard. And then we're going to be tributing it for the effect of the Ubel. And then we've got a pretty nice setup on our field. So with one single card, we've got Unchained Soul of Rage, which obviously can transform itself into the SP Little Knight by linking off uh, with an opponent's card. We also have the Escape of the Unchained, which can destroy our Unchained Soul of Rage and an opponent's card. And then we can trigger the Yama in the graveyard so that we can revive back the Unchained Soul of Rage to use its Link Off effect. So, in other words, we have to use the Escape before using the effect of Unchained Soul of Rage. And we also will be able to recycle back any Fiend Monster from the graveyard using the effect of Unchained Soul of Rage. Which is very good for a follow play, but we can also get back the uh, Sharvara and then destroy our Ubel and then keep evolving it. But anyways, Msedi is going to be uh, discarding the Chibi Karma, which obviously was not stacked. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, destroy my, uh, my, uh, sorry, my Unchained Soul of Rage, like I said. And then Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, get back the Sharvara from Grave to Hand. And then revive back the Unchained Soul of Rage. Our opponent, by the way, can just go normal summon Gemini Garnet. I know, our worst nightmare. And then attack over the Unchained Soul of Rage. This is not gonna work. My opponent is forced to attack over Ubel because of Nightmare Pain. But this is actually really annoying because... Ubel cannot be destroyed by battle, and then I take no battle damage, and I reflect the damage basically to my opponent with Ubel. And then with Nightmare Pain, the damage, uh, basically your opponent takes the damage instead, which is really nasty because if your opponent has a, like a 3k attack monster on the board, he's forced to attack over the Ubel. Uh, we inflict 3k with Ubel, and he takes 3k because of Nightmare Pain. So, in other words, we burn our opponent for 6k <laughs> by forcing him to attack, which is a little disgusting. But yeah, the Tier Laments monsters obviously have a very bad matchup against Unchained Soul of Rage because we can use them off to, well, use them to Link, uh, and then it, they're not going to trigger their effect because they weren't sent to the graveyard by a card effect, but rather by a uh, mechanic, a summoning uh, a condition. And then the SP uh, Little Knight is obviously a really nasty card, can banish two cards. And we can keep um, triggering even more effects uh, on our opponent's turn. Again, this is off of a one-card combo, which is a little disgusting. But yeah, this is just the example that I was talking about. So our opponent attacks, he takes 1600 damage. And then on the end phase, this is absolutely beautiful because you are guaranteed a lethal follow-up just with a setup. Alright, so look at this, man. This is really nice. So Un Unchained Soul of Rage is going to be triggering and the Sharvara is going to be setting the uh, Abominable Chamber. And we're going to be searching for the Aruha, destroy the chamber and then trigger its effect in order to special summon the Sarama. 
and then use that effect, get, get back the escape, and then destroy it, and then special summon the Shyama from deck, and we're going to be linking off into Anguish, Link using the Reino Heart, into the uh, Unchained Abomination, Shyama from Grave, destroy Sarama, and then Chilling 1, Yama, Chilling 2, Sarama, Chilling 3, Abomination, destroy Malicious, special summon the Ruha from deck, and special summon back the Spirit of Yubel with Yama, and search your deck for the trap card, overlay into Darius and to Machine X. And then Shyama destroy Spirit of Yubel and destroy our opponent's spell or trap. Revive back the Yubel, and just like that, we have way more than enough for game. And we also managed to get back our Yubel engine. And that was without having to rely on Nightmare Pain. So we got a lot of, of obviously one card, but we also have a lot of interruptions on our opponent's turn. We have more ways of getting interruptions for the next turn. And we have obviously a way to get back our engine because we can always play with the graveyard and that's the beauty about this deck we we always have like a, so much setup that we can always come back to obviously again off of one single card but it gets even better than that all right so the true one card combo in this deck was not actually samsara regenerating lotus but rather nightmare throne because this card has a better effect than samsara which you will see in two seconds so obviously on activation you get to search samsara but that's not the only thing this card does, because when, when one of your Yubel monster dies, you can summon a Yubel monster that is one level higher or lower from your uh, deck or something, or graveyard, actually, by ignoring the summoning conditions, which is a little too convenient. That's actually the, uh, disgusting. But yeah, anyway, Samsara effect in order to special summon Spirit of Yubel. Obviously, that's going to be setting the Nightmare Throne, even though it doesn't really matter at this point, because if you got drilled after the Nightmare Throne, it still hurts because you won't be able to use the Nightmare Pain. But yeah, destroy the Spirit of Yubel and then Special Summon the Terror Incarnate and search the uh, Grave Squirmer as well as the Yubel off of the Spirit of Yubel. Special Summon the Grave Squirmer, link into the Yama, search the Sharvara, obviously uh, at this point. It's the exact same thing as combo number one. The only difference is that thanks to Nightmare Throne, when we destroy the Spirit of Yubel, we were also able to get the Terror Incarnate. In case you're re like asking yourself, how did this happen? Because the normal Yubel never died. So how can it evolve into the Terror Incarnate? It didn't evolve, it's just that we cheated it out with a throne, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, anyways, the Sharvara destroy, and then trigger the Terror Incarnate to summon the ultimate Nightmare, and then link off into Unchained Soul of Rage, of course. Set the escape, and then Grave Squirmer revive back the Ubel. And then on the end phase, this is completely different from combo number one, because as hilarious as this may sound... Ultimate Nightmare actually has a worse effect than, um, I guess, the other Yubels, because the reason why I say that is that this card, it can be destroyed by card effects, and when it dies by card effect, it, it does nothing. Whereas Yubel, if it dies by card effect, at least you substitute it for the other uh, uh, Yubel monster, the Terra Incarnate. So it's actually much better to end on Yubel. Not to mention that uh, now we can get back the Samsara Lotus, because we didn't tribute, like, we didn't get rid of the Yubel. And because of the fact that we have um, Samsara Lotus, we can force our opponent to transform a monster effect into destroy one Yubel monster upon controls. So when our opponent will be destroying our Yubel, we're gonna yet again evolve into the Terra Incarnate. So we can negate an additional monster effect with a, with a Samsara, which is a little disgusting. Uh, at this point, our opponent is forced to destroy Yubel, and that's gonna be triggering the um, Yubel effect in order to summon the Terra Incarnate. And we still have the exact same interruptions as before. So Unchained Soul of Rage as well as Escape on top of, of course, the Samsara. All of that with one single card. You still have four other cards in your hand. This is insane. Imagine what you can do with a full hand. And speaking of which, here we go. So right now I have Nightmare Pain as well as Nightmare Throne, Escape of the Unchained, uh, Abomination's Prison, and Infernal Grave Squirmer. So my first action is Abomination Prison in order to search the Sharvara. I'm trying to play around Nibiru, so the goal is uh, to summon, un uh, sorry, the Caesar as early as possible. And yeah, summon the Shyama with the escape and then overlay straight into Caesar. And then activate Nightmare Throne, search my one card starter, and from here on out, Nibiru is no longer an issue whatsoever. And even if I get stopped on this uh, sequencing, at least I still have a Caesar that is a double negate. And that's actually kind of scary. But yeah, destroy the uh, Spirit of Yubel again, trigger the, 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 sorry, the Nightmare Throne so I can also summon the Terra Incarnate and then special summon that. And I'm not going to be uh, using the effect of uh, Grave Squirmer here in order to destroy the Terra Incarnate because I want to hold its effect for when I destroy it with the Aruha. That's a little better here. And again, link into the Unchained Soul of Rage, set one, and then tribute my ultimate nightmare for the Yubel, and I'm going to be able to revive back the Samsara. And I have the Eternal Favorite, which is actually really unfair here because I can also super poly my opponent's board. 
So this is like a true unbreakable board. I mean, I have the Caesar that is a double negate, the Samsara that is a negate, and then my opponent has to kill my Ubel. And then Eternal Favorite is a Super Poly using every single effect monster my opponent controls, because you can summon this card right here, Jubel das Ewig Liebe Wachster, some, something like that. Yeah, I, I can't speak German, but at least I tried. Hail Germany. But yeah, no, this is uh, this is insane. Like, who would have thought that Jubel would uh, one day become, like, actually good? Like, an actual scary deck that if I'm facing it in a tournament, I'm not going to be laughing. I'm actually going to be scared. Like, you ha again, you have to attack the Jubel. You can't attack over anything. So the Samsara, even though it has zero attack, zero defense... You can't just be like, oh, whatever, okay, battle phase, attack over. No, 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 no. Battle phase, your monster is attacking the Ubel, and you're taking double damage. And my Ubel is not dying. So you have to do everything on main phase one. You can't do... You, you literally just can't do anything. It's 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 too good. This, this deck is insane. But yeah, that's it for the combos. Let's get into the deck profile now. Alrighty, so for the deck list, it's very simple, very clean, minim minimalistic again. So three Samsara, as well as three Field Spell and one Terraforming. Uh, your seven one card starters and then nightmare pain is also like a semi one card starter but not really because you also need something that might be able to trigger because uh, well to trigger to summon a monster from the deck because if you just do that uh, in order to search your samsara you will have no way of essentially destroying your spirit of Ubel when you destroy it because it's not like you can search another nightmare pain to use the effect again because it is one spirit turret, unfortunately and again you cannot search nightmare throne with spirit of Ubel since it does not mention Ubel. It, me it, it mentions Ubel monsters, which is not Ubel. It's, it sucks to say, but it is what it is. Uh, anyways, uh, three Super Poly, obviously in order to summon the ultimate Ubel monster, and we might as well play some other targets while we're at it. You don't need a hand shops in this deck, would rather just play board breakers. Uh, and also, we're not turning on your, our opponent's uh, triple tactic talents while we are able to play talents ourselves. But yeah, that's really nice. Anyways, for the Unchained lineup, because I'm not gonna go over the uh, Ubel monsters yet, Three Abominations Prison with only one Sarama, one Shyama, one Sharvara, and then one of each of the trap cards, and then three Aruha. You don't need any more than that. And again, the fact that the Unchained Monsters allows you to destroy your Ubels, because obviously they're Fiend, is simply insane. And no, they will not miss timing, because you are destroying and special summon the Unchained Monster at the exact same time as you are. At the exact same time. So yeah, it's not going to make a Ubel not a trigger, because... It is an optional win effect, just like the Yangzing monsters and Doofrog, which sucks, but it is what it is. I do remember Doofrog uh, with a Zodiac Barrage was also uh, not a problem because you could like destroy it and then summon a Zodiac and also trigger Doofrog to search some bullshit like Swap Frog, and then you would go with like m search Mother Grizzly with the Broad Bull, and then you special summon Swap Frog and you play from there. So yeah, this uh, this concept of destroying your own cards and benefiting off of that was a thing for basically forever. Three Infernal Grave Screamer now. Obviously, this card is insane. You're always trying to have access to this card. The, the, graveyard, effect, the graveyard effect, sorry, is also another insane thing about it. But yeah, one of each of the bad Ubel monsters, quote-unquote. So, original Ubel, Terra Incarnate, and Ultimate Nightmare. Uh, these cards, you always have access to them because you can summon them from the hand, deck, and or graveyard. And the original Ubel, sorry, the Spirit of Ubel can summon the original Ubel from the Banished as well. So that's even better. And the field spell can, can also summon back your uh, Ubels, by the way. But only from the hand uh, or deck. No, actually, no, banished hand deck. Uh, no, sorry, banished deck or grave. So yeah, that's that. I mean, that's that's also really insane. Uh, but yeah, uh, three spirit of Ubel. Obviously, this is another really good one. This is like a semi hand trap whenever your opponent attacks. Like you summon this from the hand. And then obviously, again, cannot be destroyed by battle. And you take no battle damage. And if it is destroyed, then you summon one of your Ubel monsters. Uh, sorry, Ubel again. And on summon, you search a spell or trap card that mentions you, Bell. So either that or the Nightmare Pain. Uh, but yeah, three Dark Contract with a Gate, as well as one Vice King Requiem. This is also very good in the Unchained deck, so I figured why not play it in this deck. Uh, you can obviously either destroy your Unchained Monsters or or, or, or trap cards or spell cards. <laughs> or you can destroy your u Bells and play from there. And then you also have uh, the Machine Axe that can turn into a Zeus and break boards like crazy. So you really do not need... Uh, hand shops whatsoever you have the gas to just push through boards um, uh then yeah that's that's about it i think i've basically explained like everything so 40 card deck list try to keep it at 40 extra deck the ubel fusion as well as three super uh, poly targets so dragon eye draco quest for i don't know like borlo savage dragon and baron de fleur garura my dragon and then for the xyz monsters one zeus one machine x one caesar and one darius because you can overlay your uh, two aruha or one aruha one sarama 
Uh, one Unchained Abomination for the Lynx, and, and then the Unchained Soul of Anguish. Double Yama, double Unchained Soul of Rage, and then finally one SP Little Knight. So you have 15 in the extra deck, obviously. And then for the side deck, we can go for with uh, Bankratops. There's no conflicting whatsoever. And then the, a bunch of Bestial Monsters if you want to. Some Drools, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, and Solemn Judgment, or any good going first card. Could be Anti-Spell, could be... Uh, dimensional barrier could be whatever not summon limit obviously it does it kind of kind of does conflict with this uh, deck but you get the point anyways that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very very soon peace